Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn a Nutshell. So in today's video, let's see how to test uh, Commerce Tools API extension locally, or even uh, you can do subscription, uh, you know, testing locally. So for that, I had previously done a video on how to you know set up and uh, uh, you know expose your local host uh, uh, to public via Ngrok. There are other uh, you know uh, providers as well. So Ngrok or Ngrok is the one which I found uh, most suitable uh, in terms of speed, in terms of uh, you know the availability. So Ngrok was much better. There are a lot of options, other options, but I would suggest this one. So I've already done a video. Uh, you can I'll quickly share a little sn snippet over here from the previous video. Please check that out. So when you come to sign up, there'll be option. You can give uh, the username, password manually uh, and uh, you know, create an account or you can sign up with GitHub or uh, Google. I'll just select Google. And here I'll select one of the accounts from where I want to sign up. So this is the one which I'll be using. Click on continue. Just accept the terms and conditions click on create account so you'll get this one uh, you can you know scan this scan uh, you can scan this using your google authenticator one password or microsoft uh, authenticator so this will be like a multi-factor authentication uh, so every time you log in you need to provide a code which will be generated in that app enter the code so click on continue, you'll get this one, download, take a backup of this, uh, no recovery codes and click on finish. So you can provide your, uh, no details of your, uh, your profession. I'll just select some random things and click on continue. So you'll get this, the first thing they have to you know, take us is uh, to our setup and installation. Here you can uh, download the app, click on download for Windows 64 or whatever operating system you have, download it and then we need to copy this uh, this thing you know for authenticating. So go to this folder and extract everything. Then once extracted open this in command prompt just type cmd in the top and press enter it will you know, bring up this path in command prompt then paste the content which you copied just now for authenticating so this will be added to the ngrok config click on enter so it's configured now if you want you can see what are the next steps here you have options what you want to expose so i want to expose my local host 8080 please do this one and just paste it here now click on enter so this particular uh, you know local host 8080 will be exposed whatever request comes from here or goes out of 8080 will be forwarded to this url and uh, same thing whatever comes to this url will be forwarded to 8080 so you can track everything uh, with this url 127.0.0 Point one, and uh, you can see what are the requests coming in what are the response that is going out everything can be tracked from this URL so let me quickly show an example of this for that what I'll do is I'll use one express app uh, so let me create new window open a folder go to documents projects uh, create a new folder drive express and select yes yes I trust the other let's quickly initialize uh, this has a node application for that you can just type I can type node in it or npm in it let me quickly check npm in it you can just type npm in it and uh, if you don't want you know to manually type everything and just give hyphen y so it will take all the default values 
even the default entry point so the default entry point is index.js so next thing is you can search for express when you search for express uh, you, will, you can go to this getting started and here you have all the options on how to do it so you can set whatever entry point you want which I just showed then you can just run this npm install express so when you run this all the packages will be downloaded and it will come into node modules folder if you don't want to save it in the package.json you can give no save next let's quickly run this uh, let's quickly run this little code hello world let's create a file called index.js and paste the content as it is so if you see here it's a get request and the port they have mentioned is 303 uh, 3, uh, which is not the one which we are configured which we have configured in uh, uh, ngrok so we need to change this to 8080 and apart from this let's keep it as get and the path is the root path which we have given here so we, to quickly run this you can just type node and give the file name and press enter it will you know start the server it will start listening to 8080 now if you want to quickly test it you can come here and type localhost 8080 so it's working fine so if you give any other port it will not work So it's uh, it's refusing. So eight zero is eight zero one eight zero eight zero is the one that is uh, you know Express is listening to. So next thing what you have to do is we have already configured. If you see here we have already configured it. So this is the URL. If I click on this URL, press Control and hit on this. To last for one confirmation, click on visit site. So again this is taking us to. 8080 it is forwarding all the requests from this URL to localhost whatever response is coming back will be forwarded to this URL and you can see the response here with this URL you can configure or do whatever you want with this URL for testing your application uh, you know publicly you can uh, do that as well so hope you have uh understood how to set up and do the initial testing of how to expose your local server to public so we had uh, tested via postman as well so for that we had seen um, you know, trying to hit this URL which we have already configured here and uh, we were getting the response as well whatever we have put it here so hello world post we are getting we have created post post as well as uh, get request and uh, we have got this hello world uh, in our postman as a response and also you can track all the uh, you know requests and response in their uh, little tool as well which they are uh, providing in this url so today let's quickly see how to set up um api extension or how to how to do the testing locally for the commerce tool api extension so for that first let me go to commerce tool so i've already you know i've already set up one previously let me quickly delete that so there is one api extension here let me delete this So it's deleted now what we'll do is uh, let's make uh, api extension for customer so whenever customer is created let's you know add in uh, customer number to uh, each customer so as of now we are just hard coding one customer number maybe you can uh, you know do dynamic uh, increment of customer number so let's quickly see that
for that the first thing that is required is uh, if you go here we need to create a api extension let me quickly create that let me give this url make sure you copy the url properly so url is copied so I put the url and i've created for customer the resource type is customer and the actions is for create and update let me create keep it for create only and uh, hit send so it will quickly test uh, the destination if it's working if you are able to you know get any response if it is success then it will create a api extension in commerce too and then let's make a little change uh, in our code as well let's try to read the request what they are sending and uh, so for that let me take one action from customer as we are doing it for customer let's go to update actions and uh, look for customer number what is the action for customer number so this is the one let's copy this and uh, put it here in a variable let's name it as action or actions and paste it here so here this has to come from the request body so we'll read it from request it should be ideally request dot body let's see what is the you know version path in uh, in a moment and apart from that what we'll do is uh, for reading you know the request body we need to add body pass as well so let me paste this here and you know we need to pass the body as json as the request body will be json we need to download that as well so let me copy the library so body parser is the one which we are which we'll be using let's cancel this and install this library first body parser so body parser is installed and uh, in that we are encoding and converting that body parser to json and now the request body water will be coming we can read it let's quickly console this console.log of request and maybe we can give body as well and start the server so server is started now what we'll do is let's go to merchant center so if i go to customer add customer and give some name and this customer number we are not putting it anything over here the customer number should come from here let me give some good name customer 123 or uh, let's start from 001 this version has to be filled that's still pending let's come back to that apart from that just provide one password So password is provided now if I hit save it will uh, before saving it will call this endpoint what we have configured in extension so this URL will be hit as we are creating a customer and that request and uh, request body we should we should be able to see it here 
so let's click save so it says there's an error if i come here there's a request body that has come up so it's demo 2 demo 2 and uh, the response which i'm sending back is hello world which is not right so let's see if we are able to read the request body so we are able to read the request body so it is coming perfectly fine and from here we need to take the version version is in resource and object and that version so we'll have to give dot resource and then object and then we have to read the version so we'll be able to read the version and we can return this as it is now let's stop the server and start it again so let's try to hit it again the create customer and it should be successful so customer is created successfully you can see demo demo 2 is created and the customer number has also you know added over here via the actions what we have passed if i go and see this request and the response so the response time is also faster as we are doing from local it's still faster 33 milliseconds and uh, you can see the response is going has this and this is the request body so that's how you can you know test your api extension and also subscription you can uh, try it out yourself and this is how you can do the testing locally via ngrock ngrock whatever you want to call it and it's that simple hope this was useful and let me know and you can try the same with the uh, spring boot application as well you can just start the spring boot application so by default it exposes uh, uh, to localhost 8080 and then uh, whatever request uh, you know comes it will be automatically forwarded to that springboard application and uh, you know you can do all the respective changes for whatever you are trying to implement so that's all i uh, hope this was useful guys uh, let me know by liking this video if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment share with your friends and let's catch again next video until then see you bye